If you do that, so that show to us because that show that we really, really love your parent, and then Allah will bless you after the demands of your parent. What a Rasul say? Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, man mata wa alayhi siyamun, soma anhu wa liyu. If you die, and then you owe you some days of your fasting, and for some reason you never did it, you have been told that you have people, you have children, you have children that you left behind, they should fast that to pay on your behalf. Because you don't want to go stand in front of Allah, and you have a heavy law of a fasting that you have never completed. If you don't, if you're able to, if you're healthy, you're able to do it, go ahead and pay and pay that uh, fasting on behalf of your your parent. And then the third one, you still have anta huj au taatamir anhu bishat anta huj au taatamir an nafsi. As soon you hear your dad pass away, your mom pass away. One of the big things, one of the very important things you should do for them to be a good child, to be a pious child, to be a nice person, you should go and make a hajj and umrah on their behalf. Maybe your parents never had a chance to go to Mecca, and you know that for some reason, maybe all of us exist, there's a circumstances, either poverty or health issue or whatever, and then there is no way. You have to go and make the hajj on their behalf. If they say every year I'll be making Umrah, go there and go to make, make Umrah on their behalf. You have to do that. Because our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he was making hajj, he heard a man who was saying, La baika al subrumata. La baika al subrumata. Faqala Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, man huwa subrumata? Qala aqli aw qaribun li. Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa hal hajata an nafsik? Qala la. Qala Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, hajj an nafsik, summa hajj an subrumata. When the Rasul overhear this man, he was making tawab, he said, you know, normally we say, La baik Allahumma la baik, La baik la sharika la ka la baik. And then when you're doing a hajj for somebody, on behalf of somebody, you call that person name. So this man will say, La baik an shubrima. Shubrima is the name of a person. So when Al Rasul overhear him, Al Rasul asked him, turn around and look at him. He said, oh, have you performed hajj you yourself? They may say, oh, Rasul, no, I didn't do it. But because it's, you know, like that's my relative, and then he passed away, so I want to make a hajj for him. Al Rasul said, no. You don't do that. Make hajj for yourself first, then you make a hajj for Shubhraman. And that goes to all of us. Instead of you making hajj for, your, for, for somebody else, do it for your very self first. That is what we supposed to do. That's the third one. And uh, 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 the fourth one is As-Sadaqa and Huma. Then, then we do that, we take the first prayer. When your parents die, you lost your parent. This one of the things you're supposed to do for your parent is to make a sacrifice on your behalf. Make a sadaqa. And the sadaqa, they have a two different sadaqa. Sadaqa that you do it for that one day, but there is sadaqa called sadaqa jariya. Continue charity. Continue charity is very important more than regular charity. Continue charity, you look at a well, you go to a place where there is a difficulty of people to get water to drink or take a shower. Go there and dig the well. So as soon as long people drink it from that water, that blessing will reach their parents in the grave. That's one of, one of the things we call Sada Kajari. And one of the things is the Pinamo Masjid. Like a, we build the Masjid, or we construct a Masjid, or you go to some kind of remote part of somewhere, any part of the world. You go there and say, oh, these people, they are in dire need of the masjid. They need masjid. You go, you put $10,000, $15,000, whatever amount you're able to do, or you even contribute to the masjid they are constructing, even in your neighborhood, you give money for that masjid. When you do that, so long that masjid say existing, and the, and the Muslims are praying in that masjid, that blessing, you say, oh, Allah, I'm building this masjid, so the blessing will reach to my parents. I'm contributing $1,000 today on behalf of my mom who passed away. So when you do that, as long people I pray in that masjid, Allah will reach the blessing to you. So you stay, you call it Bilal Walidei. You are staying nice to your parents, even though they are not alive no more. And one other thing is like so many things, you know, uh, so the Qajariya is, is, a, is, is a lot, it's a minute. One other thing, you can go and preach Quran. Some places, 
they don't have a copy of the Quran. You copy it, you, you put it in masjid, you distribute it to the masjid around, and then people go there, they take those masjid, they be read the Quran, they be reading it, the blessing, you say, Allah, I'm, 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 I'm buying this one, to put it in the masjid, so when the children come, they read Quran, so the blessing will reach to my, my parents. Then, this one of the things again is natural healing. You know, you can, you know, check at our Imam, you know, he got a very beautiful voice, and he recited the Quran all the time on the social media, you, you spray, you know, then the people will be listening to it, some people will be benefiting from it. I myself, I'm benefiting from his Quran all the time. Anytime he read Quran, I will copy it, and I'll put it on my YouTube, whatever, and then I'll be benefiting from it. You do that, that blessing will reach, you say, oh Allah, I'm doing this, so the blessing will reach to my parents in the grave. بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن الكريم وفي سنة نبيه المتوهرة وجعلني وإياكم ممن يستنون القول فيتدون أحسنه أقول ما سمعت واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين والمسلمات من كل زن فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم We're going to be faster. Alhamdulillah, wa kafa wa salatu wa salam ala nabihi al mustafa. One of the things we're supposed to do for our deceased parents, you make dua for them, supplication. Please, please try to make dua for them all the time. And one of the best dua we ask Allah so Allah has to forgive them. See, uh, Sayyidina uh, Nuhu used to make a dua, you know, for his parents. And he said, Rabbi, Rabbi Afirli. Walwalidaya, waliman dakhla bayti mu'min. Allah, please forgive me. Allah, please forgive my both parents. And anybody enter my house. That's why Sayyidina Luhu used to say. And Sayyidina Ibrahim, who is one of the Ulul Azim. And he used to make it to out. It's in the Quran. Rabbi Akhirli, walwalidaya, walil mu'minina, walil mu'mina. Allah, please forgive me. And forgive my parents. So what we're trying to say here, illustrate here that the, all these big people, Rasul and the Prophet Nuhu, Prophet Ibrahim, all these big people out for your parents. You have to make Allah, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Allah will forgive them. We are human. No matter who you are, sometimes you make something in the process of your life, 20 years, 30 years, 50 years, you do, maybe you did something, so you ask Allah to forgive them. Uh, the seventh one, when they make, you know, promise, and it has something to do with the previous one, if they promise somebody, and then so long it's not contradicting to the teaching of Islam, you should forfeit that promise. If your father call you, my son, I think the way I say, I think I'm not going to survive this one. But if in case if I die, this is the promise I do, I did, you know, and I, I promise I'm going to do this one. So please forfeit that promise, even though they are not alive no more. All right. And then uh, uh, you have your, your, your brother, I mean your dad, uh, sisters, a uh, brother, you should be nice to them. Be nice to them, even though they, you know, he is not alive. You do it for two reasons: because Silat Rahim, you know, you 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 doing it because they are your sister, and equally, equally so, you doing it because your mom and your dad ask you that, oh yeah, please be nice to your sisters because they are women; they don't have no something. Please be nice to them. I wanted to do so many things for them, but here I am. I'm I'm done. You know, I, I don't. I'm not living too long ago. So please, you have to take care of your sisters. And then he passed away. So be nice to your sisters. And then the last, you know, we, uh, the last and the, not the least, you have father best friends that you used to know. It is your obligation. They're not their best friend to be running after you because your father was so, so, so pressing. No, it is your duty. You the son, you the children of your father friends, your father colleague friends. You know, you should see them together. It is your obligation to go to reach them. Go around them, go around them, go then. And then, you know, anytime you go around them, it's like uh, you're doing it for your dad or your mom who passed away. We have a minute to say, but uh, because of the time factor, inshallah, we have to, we have uh, so many examples for that. And then, but we have to stop there because of the time is now our best friend. Allahumma uh, inni da'in fa'aminu.